hey, I want to do some monitor brightness comparisons um, with different cameras on on screen or on camera monitors versus the external ones. Um, so first of all, in the middle we have a GH5. The on camera monitor, the built in, is actually pretty good. The built in LCD. Uh, pretty impressed with that. I'd say it's the out of these three cameras, it has the brightest on camera screen. Pretty good. Now on top of it, I have the feel or the uh, Lilliput LUT7, about 500 nits. Pretty useless outdoors with a sunshade. You could kind of get by as long as you're like fully in the shade, but it's a struggle non-stop if it's bright out. Um, you'd have to be pretty dark out before you start to see any usefulness, I think, um, or some pretty good shade. Uh, it's about 500 nits and totally fine in inside, indoors, but when you get outside, it's pretty bad. Um, let's go to the EVO 1. It's built-in LCD is also a, quite a struggle if you go outside. It's the worst. Like, it has some pretty bad glare even in the shade. Pretty hard to see. Um, the Atomos at a, uh, Ninja 5 at a thousand nits is actually pretty good. Um, to my eye, it's actually significantly noticeably brighter than the built-in one on the GH5. And this is the weird thing is on camera, GH5 actually looks way more contrasty and brighter, but um, definitely the Ninja 5 is brighter in the real world. So I don't know what's going on with the camera. I can't explain it. They're both in the shade, but something's going on. And then here we have Pocket 4K. The built-in monitor with the brightness all the way up is actually not too bad. Um, I would say it's not as good as the Ninja 5, so I don't know if you can tell that here. I don't know what the Ninja 5 is doing, but maybe it's just some sort of glare on it or something. But on camera here, the Ninja 5 is not looking as bright as it actually is to the eye. And that's what matters is the eye. But you can see, so honestly, the Ninja 5 at a thousand nits is the second brightest. And it's actually pretty usable even in direct sunlight, but this is really easy to use. The LUT7 in direct sunlight, sunlight 2200 nits is easily the best for outdoor use. And at seven inches, it's a lot easier to pull focus. So I would say that's my recommendation. If you wanna go outside, go for 2000 nits. I know Blackmagic, the video assist 12G has pretty great brightness as well. But I feel like anything less than that, you're gonna struggle, especially if you get into sunlight. And anything like this is pretty frustrating. A 500 nit monitor, like, cause there's so many, that's the standard cheap monitors are 500 nits. And there's so many of them. And if you're gonna go outside, it matters. Cause that is hard to see. It's like next to impossible to full focus. You're gonna struggle, so. Anyway, um, sorry about my pulling focus. I'm trying to talk and handheld at the same time. And I'm also using another little put monitor with a sunshade to try and pull focus in the shade here. So you can see it's doable, but I'm not doing the best job. So, okay, that's it.